This from Skull the Boat, as one does. Hey, caller, love the podcast. Interested in your take on the wide receiver four roster spots. Football, the wide receiver four roster spots. So, yeah, I mean, I think that right now with that situation, it's pretty much locked into K.J. Osborne as being wide receiver three. I don't see why K.J. Osborne would not be wide receiver three, considering that he was very good in that spot last year. But also, like, the lines are going to get a little more blurred between what is behind uh, Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson because there's going to be more situations to use guys. So there could be spots where they see, like, okay, K.J. Osborne is not thought of as a real deep threat, but a Amir Smith-Marset is a deep threat. And so maybe this is a spot where we want to use Amir Smith-Marset as the number three and not KJ Osborne. BC Johnson is a difficult one because he's coming off of the ACL, but also because, you know, I mean, he just in 2020 did not get on the field very often and, you know, hasn't gotten a lot of opportunity. So if, if it comes down to, are you keeping a Jalen Naylor if he shows potential or a Blake Prohl if he shows potential over BC Johnson, who's played in the league and you have the tape, like, what are you going to do there? I think there is maybe decisions to be made, but you're also going to want guys who are smart and who can handle a lot as wide receivers. And they've said that a few times that the wide receivers really have to handle a lot of stuff. And I think BC, that helps him because he's very intelligent and that makes things more difficult for someone like Jalen Naylor. Also with Jalen Naylor, sixth round pick, if you cut him, it's pretty unlikely anyone's picking him up. You could put him on the practice squad. I don't think we'll see Dan Chisna playing wide receiver at all, but I think it's Amir Smith-Marset wide receiver four locked in and he has got to prove that he is more deserving for that spot than someone who has already played like BC Johnson. But Smith Marset, you know, the thing with him, I think he struggled last year as a lot of rookies do to kind of understand what they needed from him. But he showed toward the end of the season that he's got talent, that he has got an extra gear to him that will be interesting if they find a way to use it because they didn't last year. And at times it felt a little like, are you guys maybe not utilizing this guy five times a game where maybe you could? So he He's one of the, as we do our lists, who are the most interesting people to watch at Vikings camp. Like, I think Amir Smith-Marset deserves to be on that list. 